Hello friends, welcome to another IoT based home automation project using ESP32, Google Firebase and GitHub. In this project, I have deployed the web dashboard on GitHub so you can access the dashboard from anywhere in the world with a simple link. If you try to control the relay from the web dashboard, first it will send a request to Firebase real-time database with authentication. If the authentication correct, it will update the database. Then the Firebase will forward the request to ESP32 to control the relay. Now if you try to control the relay manually with switch, first ESP32 will control the relay, then send the feedback to Firebase real-time database. Then we can able to monitor the real-time feedback on the web dashboard. Now before going to the details, let me give you a quick demo. Here you can see with this link we can access the web dashboard and here I have turned on the mobile data so I am not connected with any Wi-Fi network. Now let me tap on this link to open the dashboard. First I have to enter the email id then password then tap on login. So this is our web dashboard. First let me try to turn on the relay one by one from this dashboard. Now I can use this all up button to turn off all the relays together. Now let me try to control the relays manually with these switches and if there is no internet still you can control the relays with these switches. Now as the ESP32 is connected with the Wi-Fi so we can monitor the real time feedback on the dashboard. Now again let me use the all up button to turn off all the relays together and after controlling the relay I can tap on logout. To exit from the web dashboard and I will request you to watch the complete video and after that anyone can make this project. To make this project you need an ESP32, 4 channel relay module, switches or push button then connect all these components as per the circuit diagram. In the circuit I have used active low relay module and these switches are connected across the GPIO pins and ground. And if you want to use push button then connect the push buttons across the GPIO pins and ground. Although you can make the circuit without using any PCB but to avoid any loose connection and to make the project compact I have designed this PCB for this project. You can download the GABA file from the video description and order it from the JLC PCB. From JLC PCB you can order different type of PCBs at very affordable price. Here you can see they also provides a lot of services. After designing the PCB, generate the GABA file or you can download the GABA file from the video description. Then visit JLC PCB. Again you can find the link in the description. First you have to upload the GABA file. Then select the parameters like quantity, PCB masking color. Then place the order. If you select faster delivery services then you will receive the PCB within a week. And here you can see the quality is very premium in this affordable price. So I will always recommend you to use JLC PCB for all the PCB projects. Before moving to the coding part we will quickly configure the Firebase account. So I will search Firebase in Google and then click on this Firebase console link. As I am already logged in with the Google account so I don't have to log in for the Firebase separately. And I will also share the link in the description if you click on this link you will redirect to this page. Then click on this create a Firebase project. Then give a name say ESP32 Relay Control 1. You can give any other name. Now click on continue. Then again click on continue. Then I will deactivate the Google Analytics. Then click on create project. After that let me click on continue again. So this is our project. First I will click on build. Then from here I will select real time database. Then first I will create a database. So I will click on create database. Then select the database location. Then click on next. Then I will select start in test mode then click on enable so our database created now i will change the rule so i will go to rules tab then i will edit the rules with this i will share this in a notepad you can also download it from the description i will just copy it and paste it in the rules tab to update the rules then i will click on publish then i will go to data tab then here i will click on this plus icon then in the key value pair in the key I will type relay 1 then in the value I will type false. Now this is for the first relay now I will again click on this plus icon then do the same thing for the second relay say relay 2 
then in the value i will type false in a similar way i will do it for the third relay and fourth relay after doing this i will again go to build then i will select authentication then i will click on get started then i will select email password then i will enable this email password then save it then i will go to user tab click on add user then here you have to enter a email id and password for authentication you can enter any email id say abcgmail.com then enter the password i am using this just for authentication then tap on add user now i will go to this setting icon then select project setting from here scroll down and now i will click on this icon to create a web app first give a name to this web app say esp32 relay 01 you can give any other name then click on register app so here you can see it provide me the api key which i required in the code now i will just click on continue to console so this is our api key and here you can see all the related details after all these now we can move to the coding part of this project these are the source code for this project and this is the html for the web dashboard you can download all these files from our website iotcircuithub.com just visit the article you can find the link in the description then you can download the code from these buttons and in the same article i also explain the complete code line by line so if you have any query you can always refer to the same article now this is the code for the push button in the code name you can see button is here and this is the code for the latch switch i'm going to use this code here let me open it with adreno id let me connect the esp32 with my laptop to upload the code for this project i have used this version of the esp32 and we need these libraries i have also mentioned the link and version after that i have to enter the wi-fi name then here i have to enter the wi-fi password then here i have to enter the firebase credential so let me go to the firebase account so first i will copy the app key you will get the credential under the project setting so if i click on the project setting under the general tab you will get the app key so let me copy it here then i will enter the database url so again i will go to firebase account this time i will click on real time database then i will click on this icon to copy the link then i will go to adreno id and paste it here now i will enter the user email id and password so again let me go to the firebase if i go to authentication so as i said i am using this email id and the password for the authentication so let me enter the email id which is abc at the red gmail.com then i will enter the password which i have given in the firebase now after doing these changes you can directly upload this code to esp32 just go to tools select the proper board com port then hit the upload button after uploading the code let me go to firebase then click on real time database now if i change this relay 1 to true then hit the enter the first relay will turn on now if i make it false again the first relay will turn off now we will configure the web dashboard so this is the html page for the web dashboard let me open it with notepad plus plus you can use any other editor to open this html page now here you can see this is the heading and this is the inline css for this web dashboard now we have to modify some details so here we have to enter the firebase credential so again let me go to the firebase account then i will go to the setting icon click on project set then I will scroll down and from here I will get all the firebase credential so I will just copy this block then I will go to notepad plus plus then I will paste it here so under the firebase config you have to modify the firebase credential of your account then I have to enter the email id and password for the authentication so again i will enter the email id abc at the rate gmail.com then the password we have given in the firebase authentication after updating the firebase credential and the authentication email id and password i can save this file so in this project i will upload this html file to github so that you can access it from anywhere in the world 
then i will go to github again you can find the link in the description so i already have an account if you don't have any account just create a new account in github then i will click on this plus icon then click on new repository here you have to give a name for this repository you can give any name i will check this add readme file then i will click on create repository now to upload the file i will click on the add file then select upload files then i will just drag and drop it to github then i will click on commit changes after uploading i will click on setting then i will select page then i will select the deploy from branch then in the branch i will select main then i will select root then i will click on save so it will deploy it to github repository so let me go to code and from this yellow dot let me click on it you will find in backend it is deploying the page on github after this process it will provide me a link so here you can see now it is green so the process completed so let me go to the setting again then again i will go to pages then this is the link i can click here to visit the site or you can just copy this link now let me turn on the supply and here i have shared the link in whatsapp so i will tap on this link to open the dashboard first i have to log in let me enter the email id abc at the red gmail.com then i will enter the password now i will tap on login so this is our dashboard currently all the relays are off let me turn on the relays one by one Now using this all off button I can turn off all the relays together. Before ending the video let me highlight some points. If you face any issue while controlling the relay with the web dashboard the status showing loading loading it happens due to authentication failure. That time you have to close the dashboard then clear the browsing history then open the page and try to log in with the credential again. To avoid this issue, you can either remove the authentication process in the database rules, then anyone with the link can control the relays. Otherwise, you have to deploy the web page in Firebase, but the process in that case bit complicated. In upcoming videos, I will try to implement more features in this project. You can also share your suggestion feedback on this project. If you find this project helpful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.